everybody, Gretchen Hillsheim from Artsy Designs here. I promised you a video using some of the items from the Dollar Tree purchase. Um, you can see that video, there's a link below. And so today I'm going to actually for sure use um, this hair roller as to do a texture for a background for a journal page. I've been practicing with this and I think the results are really cool. So let's get started. I have found that putting the paint right on the paper um, is more effective for, like I said, what I want than um, putting it on a palette or in a plate or anything like that. And Okay, here's our finished product. I did several layers as you saw, and there were a couple of times I goofed up and put too much paint on. Um, also, see here, I didn't get it on the edges. Uh, I think part of that was the way that the tripod was placed to begin with. So, from here, you can uh, do a um, journal page over top. I kind of like it, looks um, a little bit industrial, like uh, there's been a bunch of different kinds of paint. Um, and as you saw, I just, I didn't even roll the roller, I just used it kind of as a paintbrush and pushed it back and forth. So, um, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and gave you some ideas. Uh, I think probably, um, it would be equally as fun with different kinds of rollers. If you see, I don't know if you can see how, uh, fine these little brushes are. Um, depending on the thick or the length of those little uh, hairs on the brush, uh, will change the way that your um, texture of your page looks. So, hope you enjoyed, and uh, please subscribe so I can keep making these videos. And uh, we will see you later. Happy crafting! Bye.